Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. Welcome back to the channel once again. Nice to have you with me. Um, okay, so we, we've got a little uh, block theming quick tip for you today. Something that caught me out quite a while back when I was first making block themes. And it's that style.css doesn't work straight out of the gate. Fundamentally, it's because the proper way to create block themes, you put all your CSS in the theme.json file. Now, for those of you, those of us making the transition to block theming, this is a bit of a shocker because I like to write my CSS in a nice CSS file, not in a theme.json, although that is the way forward and we will be getting onto that sort of subject later on uh, in this series of block theming stuff. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to fix the style.css not working. Right, let's get this uh, style.css working. So I've got 2024 here, it's just a regular install. I've just got some pages and sort of the menu out a little bit. Uh, nothing else going on, no plugins, no nothing. But let me just go to the code and I've just got this running locally and this is the 2024 folder. And yes, it does have a styles CSS file. And just so you can see what I mean, if we had a body class of background color, light blue, Go back to our front end and give that a refresh. Uh, nothing happens. Now that's because 2024 doesn't enqueue its style.css file. So that's why we're not seeing it. Not that you'd use the parent theme CSS file for your custom stuff. We'd use a child theme. So, okay, well, let's get a child theme in there. We're going to go to our uh, plugins and add a new plugin. Now, now we could just create a custom plugin with, with our file editor, but I want to introduce you to create block theme, which you'll be getting to know quite heavily over the next few tutorials, or at least in some upcoming tutorials. Let's install that and activate that. I'm not gonna go into too much detail of what the, the extent of this. I'm gonna, I've got a, I've got a tut coming up for that. But if we go to appearance now, we see we've got create block themes. And this does lots of different bits. And I'll show you more about this plugin when we get to building some custom block themes in due course in the future. And for this, we're gonna create a child of the 2024 theme. So we'll just call it my child. Uh, there's lots of other stuff you can upload a thumbnail and all that sort of stuff. So we'll just generate our child and we'll pop it into the project folder, which I've got set up here for the style.css tutorial. Uh, we've, it's already named it my child. Let's save that up get back to our themes and we're going to add new and upload our theme. So let's go and open up that folder, grab our child theme. We can just drop it onto there and install it, activate it. Now we've got a running child theme. So if we go back to our code editor. We can now see that we do have our close up 2024. We got my child there and we have a style.css. So if we add, now add a body class of background color, light blue, save that, back to our front end. What have we got? Absolutely nothing. That's because style.css from the parent theme is not being enqueued. If it had been in the classic theme way, then you wouldn't need to do what we're gonna do next, which is we need to enqueue the style.css file for the child theme, and it's super simple. Within our my child, we're gonna add a new file, and that's gonna be a functions.php. And within that, we're gonna go grab a little bit of code, which is here, which will enqueue. This is this is kind of classic WordPress enqueue style styles. And we'll just give our opening PHP tag and load the styles. So we've got our functions going. And if we go back to our front end, we do indeed have our blue background. Now the issue, the problem we're trying to solve here is if we go to our pages, and we go to home, no styles loading, no blue background. Okay, so let's head back. Let's get our second function, which is specific for the block theme editor, which is the add editor styles. And this will take your style.css and load it when you're looking at the editor, or at least hopefully, let's get that into our functions. Let's save that and back to our back end. There we go. 
We're done. So pretty easy when you know how, but there's much more to learn about block theming. And if you want some more quick tips, here's another video for you. For your next block theming adventure, go check it out. But until next time, I shall see you later.